All right, everyone, uh, here is the patch notes for Team Play Tactics patch 12.3. So we do not have much longer until the end of this half set, and we go into the mid-set patch, which I'll go into in another video, which will get posted up the day after tomorrow, I guess, day after tomorrow, which would be tomorrow if you're watching this video the day I post this video up. Okay, so as you can see, it's going to be a, it's it's a pretty small patch since we're nearing the end of the patch in typical TFT riot fashion. Uh, there's not a lot of changes going on. It's all very minor stuff. Um, trying to keep the games balanced, kind of in order as they go into some of the bigger tournaments that they usually have at the end of a set. In this particular case, uh, the meta is actually very good. Um, the balance is actually very good. The game is actually in a very, very good state right now. This is probably one of the best states I've played TFT in quite a long time in terms of what's viable, balance. There's a couple things that might be a little overtuned. Innovators might be a little overtuned, but overall, the balance is actually kind of immaculate right now. All right, let's start off system changes, Tome of Traits. So they're finally reworking Tome of Traits. I'm going to be honest, I think the previous version wasn't very confusing, and this new version's a little more confusing, but the old version also really wasn't that fair, whereas this is probably a bit more fair and more easily explained. So, if you didn't know, the original tome, the way the tome worked before, was you'd get two curated emblems offered, and then two random emblems offered. Now the amount of curated emblems that you will be offered, or tailored, as they say here, is going to depend on how many active slash inactive traits you have. So an active trait is a trait you actually have that's on. An inactive trait is a trait that you have on your sidebar. Here. <laughs> um, it's on your sidebar, but it's not active. You don't have enough of those particular units in to turn the trait on. Those can, those are inactive traits. Um, I don't believe this. Huh. I'd have to get this checked out. I don't know if this counts like unique traits that certain individual champions have, whether those are counted as active traits. I would think they actually are counted as active traits because it comes so late in the game that it probably doesn't really matter, to be honest. Um or whether or not the emblems can only come... The the list of selected, tailored traits that they look at are only ones that you actually can get emblems for. I honestly don't know. That's a good question. But anyway, so now, as I said, the amount of tailored, curated traits that you find will be dependent on your number of active and inactive traits. So in the early game where you might only have three traits up, you're not going to have any cure. It'll be entire four completely random emblems. Five to six, you get one. Seven to eight, you get two. Nine to ten, you get three. And eleven and up, you get four. Um, I would think that you're most of the time going to be in this range when you use it. If you go up to... So, the thing is, you have to kind of look at the percentages of what are the odds that you're going to get uh, the emblem you actually want if you use a tome. So, if you use it here, the you're not going to get it. It's, it's entirely random. You're just kind of guessing at this point. You use it here, your tailored has a 1 in 6 chance, and then you have the 3 random ones. You use it here, you have about a 1 in 4 chance, while... You have, you have a 1 in 4 chance that comes up twice, so it's about 1 out of 2. Not exactly. I'm fudging a lot of the math here just to make it quick. And then you have two more random random uh, ones to look for. And then here. Now it's it's 3 of 10. Well, I shouldn't have said half. It's It ends up being about 1 out of 4. I correct my math now that I actually never do math on streams. Yeah, so here, here it's about 1 in 4. So it was 1 in 3... About 1 in 4. No, no. 1 in 6, 1 in 4. Wow. My math is way off. 1 in 6, 1 in 4. This is about 1 in 3. It's probably a little less than 1 in 3, but about 1 in 3. Whereas here, it's just... You're going to get 4. 4 that you already 
are looking at is it's going to be below half. But I would think most of the time when you use it, you're going to be in this range. But your goal should always be to try to use it in this range. This is probably too late in the game for when you should be using a tome. Whereas you can probably get seven up fairly early-ish to try to get the actual emblem that you want. So I would say if you are trying to get a tailored emblem, you want to get seven or eight traits up before you use your tome. That would be where I would say is probably a meaningful point to use the tome. Because if you wait too long and try to get this many traits up, it's going it, it's it's going to it's not going to help you. You're going to be using it too late in the game. If you can get there, fine, yeah, go go do it. But I'm saying odds are it's going to be very late in the game by the time you use this and you could get a lot more value using that tome earlier in the game and understanding how you're going to have to pivot your composition based on the emblem that you get. Because that's another thing that should really play into it, is you, your emblem should help you decide how you're going to pit with the, your comp. Okay, so, some augment changes to the, uh, particularly the second and third augment, when you get the crown. Like This is about just make the, the dead augment. There's Sometimes you get an augment that's just dead, and you can't use it at all. So, the Prismatic, Crown, and Soul Augments will no longer be offered at the second and third Augment choice unless you have the first tier active of that trait. With two exceptions, being Mutant if you have two, being Merc if you have two. So, yeah. The point here being is that uh, they don't want to offer you a Augment that gives you the Crown or the Soul if you're not running those units. <laughs> um... It, it, it makes sense. There, there were a few before that were like, oh, this is okay. You can use Enforcer Soul and not run a single Enforcer unit. That's okay. You can use a Scholar Soul and not run a single Scholar unit. That's okay, because by the time you get to the end of the game, you're going to have two Scholars in any way. But you get the idea here. Large changes, so some more Augment Balance. Um, to balance out for the change they made with the Tome here, they've brought it down to a Silver level trait. I understand that because, uh, like I said, this is pretty much a nerf to what was being used before because it was always two before, no matter what point in time you used it in the game. So you got a lot of value out of using a tome very early in the game because you had two tailored emblems. But using it later in the game, it, you, you risk getting something that was not particularly useful. But, like I said, in the early game... This is fine, but in the late game, it's weaker, so having it as a silver is probably fine, because it's not going to significantly impact your comp, probably. Exiles. Exiles is getting a nerf, because Exiles is crazy in the early game. Yeah, Exiles is completely cracked in the early game. Like, you were almost... If you, have, if you had 50% shield in the early game, you were unbeatable. Nothing was ever going to kill your comp. You didn't even need to level. You could hoard gold, stay at level 3, and make it up. It was great. I loved it. Um, oh, by the way, most of these, they didn't... I'm, I'm not sure if they say here. Most of these are balance changes prepared for the next set. Um, just the way the next sets looked and the way balance currently looks in the game. Featherweights is getting a nerf. I, I'm actually surprised it took this long for Featherweights to get a nerf. I think in particular now, it, it was probably needed because Talon was kind of getting a, pretty good. And Talon with Featherweights it does a lot of damage. Uh, Shrugged Elf health regen is going down. Um, I have a game posted up with Braum, and Shrug It Off is insanity. Uh, Sunfire Board is weak, so they're buffing it. You can see it buff both here. It's just pretty weak. Thrill of the Hunt is actually getting buffed. Um, at least at 1 and 2. Because they got rid of 3, if I recall. Um, I don't know if it really needed it. But I'll take it. It's it's a very versatile... Um, very versatile trait. You can use it in, at any comp in the game. You You have a carry that you want to have healed. It's particularly good in the mid-game, where basically any unit can kill any other unit. Well, I should say early mid-game, not really the mid-game. And Underdog's going down another percent. 
they talked about this on on the stream. Um, Underdogs was bonkers when it first came out, and even now I would argue it's still kind of bonkers uh, on like a Jogaf comp. It's so much healing that this gives you when when you lose half your health when you when you're in the uh, underdog state. It's not half health. It's like twenty twenty five something like that. Traits. Socialite 2, they're buffing the mana regen. I think there was talk of whether they'd bring this back down. But in general, Socialite 2 is, just hasn't been very effective. Um, so 5 was too much, 3 wasn't enough. Hey, let's try 4. Um, I'm curious where this, where this goes, whether they stick with this or not. And Hurricane damage is going down. Uh, the thing with Hurricane, and I kind of, I'm not sure how much I, I agree with this, but since the number is so little, I'm not going to care too much. Hurricane has kind of been one of the best items in this set for AD comps, but it's more because how efficient it is with nearly every carry in this set. The only AD carry that doesn't benefit greatly over Hurricane is Jin. Jin just doesn't shoot very much. It's still good on him. You can play it. Because it's just a plain good item. But between Urga, between Yone, uh, Jinx, pretty much all of the... A oh, uh, Shaco. All of the AD carries get incredible value off Hurricane. It's one of their best items. So it's not surprising to see it's been overperforming in their data. But I don't know if... I, I think that's just more how the champions you put it on just kind of function. Not so much how much power the item actually has, because it's been this before, but it hasn't been this bad. So, we'll see where it goes. It's only a 5%, so I'm not too worried about it. It'll still be a great item. Smaller changes, some augment changes. I don't think there's too much to talk about here. A little nerf to Knife's Edge, because uh, ch particularly Challenger comps were really strong with, with high levels of Knife's Edge. Uh, Merc and Socialite Heart are like two of the best hearts you can get. They don't need the additional gold. And Windfall is getting a buff at one, mostly because 50. This one, this one's a little more interesting because early gold is very valuable. But I think in general you didn't want to take it over the other Prismatics because the other Prismatics allows you to win streak better. Whereas taking the gold is kind of just a random outcome. You get the roll more, you get more eco, and you don't know how that's going to play out over the duration of the game. Whereas most other Prismatics, if you select, you know instantly you're going to be able to win streak. Or have to lost streak to win the lobby. One of the two. Trait changes. Uh, bodyguard's getting buffed a little bit. Uh, they nerfed it. Now they need to bring it back up because the bodyguards aren't. The the thing with front lines this set is that it, technically there are really just there are three front lines. You either play a Colossus unit, you play a you play bodyguards, or you play a um or you play brawl a uh, bruiser. Bruiser in particular is kind of meh as the game goes on. It's just not like the most it, it's an interesting trait in that its efficiency actually does go up as you level but its effectiveness doesn't go up as you level uh it just kind of stays at it, it, it's an interesting way to look at increasing hp because like i said as you increase level you get to put more units in so you get more use out of bruiser but the actual power level of the effect isn't really that high that's kind of how I would describe it. Whereas Bodyguard, there was really only three bodyguards in the game that you would realistically play. You have Braum, Leona, and um, Blitzcrank. And you normally didn't really like, play all three of them together. You normally would play either Braum and Leona, or you'd have some comp that Blitzcrank played in. It was kind of weird that you just never... You never mix and match. You either play Braum and Leona or something else. Whatever. Either, either way, um, there's not a lot of bodyguard champions in the game, period. So, like, front lines are kind of weird, this set, in that there's there's not a lot of front line flexibility. Or, like I said, you have a Colossus, which you usually have a Cho'Gath carry, or you have a Galio front line. So, fr front lines are just kind of weird, this particular set. But it's also that, like, fights tend to go on quite a while in this set. So I I think like just to kind of pump up front lines a little bit more so they actually are more used 
I, I'm not surprised this came out, especially in the early game, where it's kind of could use it. Uh, they nerfed Innovator 7. It's actually pretty easy to hit Innovator 7. Just You, you just hit Innovator Cross, Innovator Heart, and you're just like, zoom, I'm off. Um, so, yeah, it, I, I think this was needed. The, especially when you combine it with the silver level trait that allows... The silver level augment that uh, rebuilds these um, deck units. Ugh. I hate that thing. Because anytime, anytime someone gets it, I know I'm just going to run into just a monster comp. Tier 2 champions. Uh, Swain, Max, Bandit. Yeah, they had... Yeah. They, they buffed him up, and he got kind of crazy, so it's not surprising to see him brought down. And lastly, some bug fixes. I don't think there's anything too particular. Oh, this was a weird one. I'd never seen this one, but I heard about it. It's kind of funny to laugh at, but Talon could instantly kill the units because of the smoke bomb augment. It was, that was a weird, weird effect. So overall, like I said, um, this patch won't impact the meta that much. Probably the most significant change is is the hurricane nerf. It's, it's just kind of like, eh. well, and, and and I guess the tome change, but um. Overall, this shouldn't impact the meta too much. You're probably still going to be playing the exact same comps that you played before without any, like, real difference in the game. So, if you're still playing on this particular set, don't expect any changes. Whereas, if you wanted to play the PvE, which I believe is live now, as I make this video, you could play the PvE. So, go do what you love and enjoy it. Peace out.